All right, so we just completed the exterior inspection. We're now gonna do stepping into the aircraft and uh, all the way up to the engine start. So first things first, in-flight guide. We're gonna put that inside, right in this little compartment. Gonna put our kneeboard on this leg, take our checklist. Okay, put this in here. Make sure that's good. Now we're gonna step into the plane. Right foot, right hand, coming up. Left foot, right foot, sitting down. Adjusting the rudders using the T-bar. I like to have mine pretty deep, so I push that back. Feels good. Safety belts on, right shoulder. Left shoulder. Make sure that this is good. Clip. Adjust. Make sure it's good here. All right. First call out. Rudder pedals adjusted. Safety belts fastened and adjusted. How about you? All right. That is good. Now we're gonna do parking brake set. So we're gonna make sure this is set. Okay. Pump it up. With my feet like that. Gen band master switch is on. Okay, rail clear. That makes, make sure nothing is in the rail and no one's hand is in the way. Then we're gonna pull this down. Second call out, canopy closed and locked. He's gonna say canopy closed and locked. Push that forward, all right? Make sure that the canopy warning light is extinguished. From there, we're gonna take the keys off the hook, stick it in the ignition. We're gonna move over here, make sure that our strobe light is on. Turn that on, come over, slide the window open, and we're gonna yell clear. Clear. After that, we're gonna go into our engine start checklist. All right, so we're gonna go throttle full, mixture full rich, fuel pump is on, fuel prime. From there, we're gonna count 10 seconds to make sure that the engine is getting flooded with fuel. So when we turn the fuel prime on, the Duke's fuel pump is essentially going into a high power setting. At the end of 10 seconds, you're gonna come down, put the throttle to idle, move it up about a quarter inch to an inch, turn off the fuel prime. From there, you're gonna identify the closest fire extinguisher. So fire bottle, prop clear. Then you're gonna start engine. So turn and push, turn it for a maximum of 10 seconds until the engine starts. Remove your hand, adjust the throttle as needed in order to uh, achieve 1,000 RPMs in your tachometer. From there, make sure the start warning, generator lights, make sure those are extinguished. We're gonna come over, ammeter, make sure that it's receiving charge. Voltmeter, make sure that it's 12.5 to 16.1. Oil pressure, make sure that it's in the green. And then from there, just do a quick verification that we've gotten all the steps. And then we've completed the engine start.